SCP-035, also known as the Possessive Mask, the Black Lord of Alagada, or the Cracked Man. This SCP is known as a variety of names. SCP-035 appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask, although at times it will change to tragedy. In these events, all existing visual records, such as photographs, video footage, and even illustrations of SCP-035 automatically change to reflect its new appearance. A highly corrosive and degenerative vicious liquid constantly seeps from the eye and mouth holes of SCP-035. Anything coming into contact with this substance slowly decays over, the, over a period of time, depending on the material, until it has decayed completely into a pool of black corrosive liquid. Glass seems to react the slowest effects to the item, which is why it's the material of the SCP's containment chamber. Living organisms that come into contact with the substance decay slowly with no chance of recovery. Origin of the liquid is unknown. People within 1.5 to 2 meters or 5 to 6 feet of SCP-035 experience a strong urge to put it on. When SCP-035 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brain pattern from SCP-035 overlaps that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the subject. The person then claims to be the consciousness contained within SCP-035 being possessed by this SCP. The bodies of these so-called possessed subjects decay at a highly accelerated rate, eventually becoming little more than mummified corpses. Nevertheless, SCP-035 has demonstrated the ability to remain in cognitive control of a body experiencing severe structural damage, even if the subject's body literally decays to the point where motion is not possible. It is also noted that it has no effect when placed on animals. SCP-035 has been found to be able to possess anything that has a humanoid shape, including mannequins, corpses, and statues. Anything it possesses inevitably decays into motionlessness. When the mask possesses D-class personnel, the SCP Foundation conducts interviews with it. Conversations with SCP-035 have pro proven to be informative. Researchers have learned various details about other SCP objects in history in general, as SCP-035 claims to have been at many monumentous events. SCP-035 displays a highly intelligent and charismatic personality, being both amiable and flattering to all those who speak with it. SCP-035 has scored in the 99th percentile on all intelligence and aptitude tests administered to it, and appears to have a photographic memory. However, Psychological analysis has discovered SCP-035 to possess a highly manipulative nature, capable of forcing sudden and profound changes to interviewer's psychological state. SCP-035 has proven to be highly sadistic, prompting some to commit suicide and transforming others into near-mindless servants with linguistic persuasion alone. SCP-035 has stated that it has intimate knowledge of the workings of the human mind, and implied that it could change anyone's views if given enough time. SCP-035 was once the court gesture of the King of Alagada. He, alongside his king and followers, were killed during the peasant uprising, with a jester being beheaded and his mask shattering. Three days after the massacre, the king and everyone else returned to life, including the jester which the mask originally belonged to. Afterward, the city of Alagada became an interdimensional nexus, and the court jester would eventually become what was known as the Black Lord, one of the four advisors to the Hanged King wearing the mask. However, he was despised by the other three lords as he was the king's favorite. After hearing of a foreign doctor who was struggling with his procedures of curing the pestilence, the Black Lord invited him to his palace. It was thought that this doctor was in fact a plague doctor SCP or SCP-049. There the two talked, and the Black Lord asked the bird-like doctor if he could cure him from whatever disease he himself had been inflicted, which the doctor eventually cured and was thanked and sent home. The Black Lord eventually figured out that the ambassador of Alagada did not wish for the king to be freed from his chains, but instead governed the city of Alagada on his own accord. This prompted the Black Lord to find a way to free his king, but the ambassador plotted alongside the lords to get rid of him and then he became a victim of a political backstabbing, causing him to find a way to escape. After having his loyal servant retrieve him an obsidian key which would give him a way to escape, he peeled off his own face for his servant to wear, 
possessing him and eventually become being the object titled SCP-035. The Black Lord's body was destroyed by the ambassador and was never seen again. His mask, however, was found in a sealed crypt in an abandoned house in Venice somewhere in the 1800s. SCP-035 is to be kept within a hermetically sealed glass case, no fewer than 10 centimeters or 4 inches thick. This case is to be contained within a steel, iron, and lead shielded room at all times. Doors are to be triple locked at all times, with the exception of allowing personnel in or out. No fewer than two armed guards are to be posted at any time. Guards must remain outside at all times and are not allowed within the containment room under any circumstances. A trained psychologist is to remain on site at all times. Research personnel are not to touch SCP-035 at any time. SCP-035 must be moved to a new sealed case every two weeks. The previous case must be disposed of via SCP-101, as it shows no adverse reactions to SCP-035's corruption. Anyone who comes into contact with SCP-035 when it is in possession of a host is to be given an immediate psychological evaluation. SCP-035 has attempted to escape multiple times. Its latest escape occurring when possessing a D-Class used its caustic liquid to pass through a wall and reunited with a doctor it had met long ago, although the doctor had forgotten it. As its host body began degrading, 035 told the doctor on how it had helped him perfecting his cure and pleaded him to use the cure on a female D-class it had brought along. After SCP-049 eventually remembered their encounter, he performed his procedure on the D-class, which resulted in her body not being affected by 035's ooze, thus making it its perfect host. Then the two SCPs managed to escape from the Foundation's site. Luckily, it was recaptured and following this incident, the High Command denied 035 its host privileges, leaving it in permanent containment. Several staff members had worked on SCP-035, highly protested the move, even erupting in violence, say, stating that they could still learn from SCP-035, but it had estimated that the damage caused by 035 far outnumbered the benefits, and those researchers were terminated with new ones replacing them. Because of SCP-035's property of causing morale damage to individuals near it, the new researchers working on it were forced to undergo therapy. During its containment, the walls containing it began secreting a similar corrosive substance mixed with human blood damaging the walls, while forming strange patterns. After analyzing these patterns, it was discovered that they were phrases written in various languages such as Italian, Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit, along with depictions of ritualistic sacrifices. The glass containing it would also occasionally shatter, which in times resulted in six casualties or three fatalities. Because of these incidents, it was decided to coat the inner and outward walls of SCP-035's containment cell with SCP-148, a metallic substance which blocks or otherwise hinders extrasensory mind-affecting properties of living organisms in proximity to it. Although it was successful in nullifying 035's effects outside its containment, it appears to have concentrated its effects, creating a greenhouse effect inside its containment. As when personnel entered the containment, almost immediately their electronic devices ceased working and they began experiencing migraines, hearing whispers and laughter, seeing blurry apparitions, and blood pouring out of their eyes, nose, and mouth before going mad, speaking Greek and Latin, despite having no previous knowledge of the languages and lashing out violently to others. The cell walls were eventually completely covered in the substance with appendages coming out of the new mixed blood. It was eventually decided that in the near future, SCP-035 would be moved to a new containment cell. Its corrosive substance was tested with various SCPs such as SCP-151-D, an albino boy with a furred tail and psychokinetic powers, who was disintegrated by SCP-035 substance, but reformed himself hours later. On another test, a D-class wearing SCP-1131-J a tinfoil hat which protects its wearers from cognitohazardous entities entered 035's containment and felt no urge of wearing at 035 nor was affected in any way by the mask. And at that moment, 035's grin turned into a frown. Following the test and the interview, it became less cooperative than usual, as it felt bad after being defeated by a tinfoil hat. In the present, SCP-035 is still under the containment of the SCP Foundation with rigorous containment procedures in place.